music of all types. Coming to you live from the studio of... Glad you're back, back live on the air again, guys. Every Sunday from Talking about some cool stuff about business today. So if you'd like to hang out and listen, cool. If you don't want to, that's cool too. But that's what I'm doing. I'm going to be paying attention over here. Just because, you know, i got to pay attention to what's happening uh, on my show. But hi. And if you're just joining me, my name is DJ Shannon C. Find me online at www.djshannonc.com. And if you'd like to tune into the show today, it's going until 6 p.m. Eastern time. It is www.djshannonc.com backslash radio. And you can listen there. So, uh, so yeah, we're jumping back on in just a second, but I just wanted to say hi from my little hole in the wall. We're going to do some more broadcast. So. This commercial's done in 36 seconds, and then I've got another 30-second commercial, and then I'm back. services also serving small business owners, 1099 fathers, families, and students. And if you're busy with work and can't make it to us, we will come to you. Thanks for tuning in. Hi, my name is DJ Shinsey. I'm hanging out. Got this tiny little radio station. I got my green juice. You know, get my Thursday afternoon lady show on. 99.1 FM, repping for 99 Chams. And what is it? Para Festa Radio? Yep. So. Time for me to go back. Again, thanks for hanging out. Take a little flight with me, Angela B, on the Caribbean Concord from 12 to 3 p.m. right here on the all-new 99.1 FM, 99 Jams. You can listen online on reggaespin.net or tune in with the TuneIn app. The Caribbean Concord on the all-new 99 Jams, the Berg. This is where St. Petersburg comes to jam. 99 Jams, the bird. Hey, what's up, St. Petersburg? You're back in the building with your girl, DJ Shannon. See, we're kicking it here, kicking it live. Keeping it going through another Thursday afternoon. Ladies are taking over the big show. Thanks for hanging out with me, y'all. What's happening? I hope you're having a good day. Shout out to some of my friends I know who are listening. What's up, April? Hello, Uncle David. Thanks for listening to me today. Thank you, Melissa and Eli, for checking it out. I want to say, hey, thanks for hanging out, tuning in. I hope you're enjoying today's show. Like I said earlier in the show, if you've got any questions for me, make sure that you tweet me or hit me up on Instagram or Facebook or whatever at DJ Shannon C. You can ask me whatever you want as it pertains to business, and we're going to talk about it as it pertains to you. So make sure you hit me up. Otherwise, we're jumping back in and we're talking about your target audience. We're talking about why all money isn't good money. We're talking about why you need to know who your target audience is, right? So we're talking about that today. And like I said, I want to just throw back again today. A lot of today's show is brought to you, inspired by my girl Shade Wyadu and her Be Seen in 2018 brand challenge. You can check that out at bit.ly backslash Be Seen in 2018. Get some awesome branding tips and information. It's not too late to jump in. In the meantime, though, talking about that target audience. So how do you figure out who that is? How do you know who your target audience is? Or why do you care, right? Well, you care because the target audience, first off, there's there's different like sex or different like segments, right? So the person that wants to hire me at the nightclub isn't necessarily the same person that wants to hire me for a large corporate event. And what I'm going to say to both of those people to convince them to hire me is going to be completely different. The image that they want to see from me is going to be completely different. And so as you're being really pragmatic and you're determining who your customers are and you're finding your customers, you want to think about who your target client is. Who's your target? We are going, I don't know, Shannon, who my target is. I want you to think about who's your dream customer. Like who's your very super favorite to work with? Who can you work with? And you're like, man, this is just serendipitous. This is awesome. This is like, this is the best ever. I wish I had a hundred more clients like that. Who is that person? And then I want you to really think about it. Think about their age. Think about their gender. Think about if they are a particular race, religion, particular culture. Think about that. They ha don't have to be. They can be. Some people like to really niche down. Some people don't. You know, think about that. So for me, I want to give you an idea of my target audience. A lot of my target audience is large corporate brands. I talk to a lot of corporations 
about doing their trade shows, their events, those sorts of things. And then also I do a lot of work with LGBT. So I like doing work with, especially like with weddings and uh, LGBT entrepreneurs. So those are some of my target audiences. And again, I gave you two different sects of that audience or two different segments who I'll talk to completely differently. So as you're sitting there, you're thinking about who your target audience is and who you like to work with. I want you to think more about them. Okay, you've determined they're young, they're old, they're male, they're female. You know, your business primarily, you know, appeals to this type of person or that type of person, or you like to bring in this type of customer or that type of customer. The next thing I want you to think about is where they find them at. Where do you, where do you, how do you connect with those people? Because again, my person who is going to hire me for a nightclub and my person who's going to hire me for a corporate event, you know, maybe the way I communicate with them isn't the same way. Maybe the nightlife person I'm talking to by sending messages on Facebook or through social media. Maybe the corporate person we connected on LinkedIn or maybe we are more connected through email. You know, how, how do I want to reach them? You want to think about some of their habits. Like I said, where they're, where they're at, what they're looking at. Do they read the newspaper? Are there, if they're not reading the newspaper, then it doesn't make any sense for you to put a print ad in the newspaper, right? So you want to think about where those people are. And then I also want you to encourage you to think about as it pertains to your business, your service, the thing that you offer, what do that, those people need from you? What do they need? What do they need? What do they be looking for? How can you best serve them? So like for me, a lot of the corporate events what they need from me is they need a DJ who's going to be able to understand their brand and play the appropriate music and have the uh, discernment to understand what's not appropriate to play, to have the ability to be friendly with the customers that are going to be interacting with me. You know, that's some of the things that they're looking for. And so once you've identified then what it is they're looking for, now you've got a big advantage to think about how it is that you can help them fulfill that need or serve them in that way. So it's, it's a lot of deep thinking. It's a lot more than just, Hey, I DJ, I play shows, you know, it's, it's more like, and you know, don't get me wrong. Cause a lot of people don't like to choose a target audience because they feel like, Oh, I got to talk to everybody. I want to, I'm not throwing a big enough net out if I don't talk to everybody. And I'm here to tell you that's not the truth. All right. You can, I can focus on LGBT and corporate events. But that doesn't mean that when someone that's not in one of those niches comes to me that I can't still service them. You know, it just means that that's who I'm talking to. It's like Nike, for example. So every time they create a shoe, let's think about a woman's shoe. They have, they come up with a, an avatar, so to speak. They have, uh, they determine how old she is, what her name is, you know, what she does for a living, what kind of things that are important to her, what sort of things irritate her. They think about all of those things and then based on those things, they're able to make decisions about marketing. All this is, is this is helping you to be really focused and pragmatic with your marketing. Because like I said earlier, when you try to talk to everybody, you don't really end up connecting with anyone. And you know, a lot of us are in business now that are businesses, especially that are saturated and have lots of competition. So, you know, I want to figure out who it is I want to go after. And then I really want to be practical, pragmatic. I want to be really, really specific in how I go after them. So I want to encourage you think about who your target audience is. That is tip number two. We're coming back here in just a few minutes. I'm going to talk to you more about some more tips, some more things. Again, feel free to connect with me at DJ Shannon C, Facebook, Instagram, uh, Twitter, uh, Snapchat, man, all things social media and www.djshannonc.com. And Hey, at Gmail, three guesses. It's www.djshannonc, or no, just kidding, djshannonc at gmail. Hit me up. Give me your thoughts. If you have any questions, if you have any feedback, I want to hear from you. We're coming back here. We're going to jump into some more music for you, and I'm coming back in just a few more minutes. Lottie, I cannot talk, but when I come back, I will be able to, I promise. And we're going to talk about freebies. I know a lot of us are really tentative to give stuff away for free, and I want to talk to you about why it's super important and why it's one thing you can do that's really good to get you more business in the door. So we're going to talk about that. we got more ladies are taking over the big show. 99.1 FM, The Berg. Make sure you stay here. Stay tuned. We're coming back with more live. Ladies take over. 99.1 FM, The Berg.